Hey, welcome to my journey. Have something new for you today. That's right, I have something new. I am starting to do some cheap meals. I've always wanted to. Me and RJ talked about this on the way to take Sebastian back Sunday. And he's like, is there anything you want to do? I'm like, actually there is. I wanted to, but I didn't know how it would be received. But like he said, he said, with the price of food, a lot of people are looking for a way to feed themselves or their families for not much money. And so, y'all know I love the Dollar Tree. That's why I started there. I thought maybe I can try different stores. This this today is the Dollar Tree. I have I have three meals. Now when I went, I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't know their food selection. So I, I didn't go in with any kind of preconceived notion of what in the world can I make. I just had to stand there and look. And and the, the man was stocking the, the shelves and I kept telling him, I said, I know I'm in your way, but I'm just trying to, you know, get some things together here in my mind. And so I came up with, I think, eight meals that I got today. Now, I forgot to, the meals that I'm showing you today, I have three of them. I forgot to calculate how much they cost and the servings and whatnot. Before we start cooking, I will put it on the screen so you know, because I want you to know what we're cooking today, how much it costs. Now, some of the ingredients we use today, we have leftovers. And so if we use them again, that will just be already have counted towards this this money here. So like the I'm looking at it right now, the pe the, the jelly, the peanut butter will be gone. Still have jelly. So if we use it in something else, I don't have to count it because we've already paid for it today in in this set of meals. But I just wanted to do it. I wanted to see how, how it would go and I enjoyed it. I had fun. And I guess one of the things that has kept me from doing it is because I've always been on some kind of diet and the things that I could eat are not necessarily things that I should on the plan that I'm at. And if you're new here, I had gastric bypass almost a year ago and so I'm supposed to eat a certain way for that. And RJ was like, well, the food won't go wasted, you know, meaning we can use it. So that's what I did. I made today's. Now, I did eat lunch off of today, and it was really good. So the rest, I just got back and took over to him, and he's going to let me know how he likes it. But what we did today is we made um, chicken dumplings with a strange ingredient, Everything I got is shelf stable. And then, and it made, I said eight servings, but I tell you, I'm going to calculate it as eight, but it made a lot. It, it will probably be a lot more than eight servings. There would be big servings, but I'm just going to say eight. And then we did some nachos, and that's what I had for lunch. I don't want to make them all and get the chips all soggy for him, so I made one serving, and oh my gosh, who knew Dollar Tree nachos could be so good? And then some grilled peanut butter sandwiches with grape jelly or marshmallow cream and the surprise ingredient that you put on the bread to grill them with i think you will be surprised because dollar tree doesn't have butter now my dollar tree doesn't even have cold food they just have cold drinks at the back the freezer section and then drinks no like cheese lunch meat nothing they got rid of all that so i don't know if all my dollar trees around here are like that but I will um, check at some of the other ones and see what they what they still have. So nothing came from the refrigerated section today at all. And so I think that's all I'm going to say. Just give you a quick little um, intro here to tell you that I, I, I've just been wanting to do these for several years now. Um, and I just wasn't sure how it'd be received. So hopefully... You'll enjoy it even if you don't want to make the food. Maybe you'll enjoy seeing some ideas that you could. Like if you if it ever come down to it and you, you need an idea that's going to save you some money and easy. Oh my gosh, these are so easy. Then here you go. So I think that's all I know. And we will quit talking. And did I tell you what I made? I think I did. Okay, let's just start cooking. If you are new to my channel, this is not new to you. I forgot to turn the button on. What I have in here is eight cups of water I brought to the bowl. And I've got eight. Oh, let me move that. 
eight of the chicken bouillon cubes and I just let it boil until they all dissolved. It didn't take long at all. These are just the ones, I know it's hard to see through this stuff, they're wrapped. So I just put eight of those because it's one cube per cup of water. So the next thing I want to add is one can of the white chicken, juice and all, and one can, well let me drain it, hold on, one can of the Green Giant Vegetable Blend. This is carrots, green beans, sweet peas, corn, and lima beans. And we're just going to dump that in there. Now we're going to let this simmer while we work on these tortillas. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to turn these tortillas into dumplings. This is just flour tortillas. There's 22 in here. I want to do three per serving. This is going to make six servings. It's going to be nice, hefty servings. You, you might even, even could get eight out of it. But I'm going to see how six looks. I need 22 minus... 18, four, <laughs> you don't have to use my fingers. So we're going to, I'm going to try to cut these. We just want to cut them into like dumpling shapes. These on the ends, we'll have to be more careful because we'll have such small pieces. So cut your ends separately. Actually, just cut them all separately. Okay, so there is. It might be too much. We'll see. We will see when we get it all going. So we're going to put half of them in this plastic bag. Kind of shake them around the break them up set this aside and then we we bought flour so there's no amount I just have this little scoop I'm just gonna scoop a little bit in there shake it around because I just want to coat the tortillas They're coated. I think let's just do just a touch more. Okay, now I want to hold on. I want to set these aside in a bowl to do the other half because I want to be able to drop them all in together. So we're going to do the same thing to the other half. You know what? There's only this many tortillas left. Let's just do them all. Let's just do the whole pack. There's no sense in having that many tortillas left with nothing to do. You want to bring this back up to a simmering ball. Let's break up that chicken. Make it go a little bit further. Okay, we got it coming back up to the bowl. We're just going to drop these, just a little small handful at a time, just around in the broth. Stir them around a little bit. Let's see if it's going to come back. See, it's starting to bubble again. We're just going to cover this. 
and let it simmer until those dumplings have plumped up and tenderized. Okay, I forgot to pause my TV, so I already scooped it out. <laughs> we have at least eight servings. So I cook them four minutes, so be careful because they're starting to fall apart. Don't go much more than that. And then we also have a bag of flour left for plenty of the meals and a bunch of our chicken bouillon cubes. There's 25 in here, and we only used eight. And so... Here is our Dollar Tree chicken dumplings, and hang on, and we'll see what's next. This may very well be our easiest meal. We just have our tortillas, and this we will make per serving. You don't want to... Uh, well, you can, if you want to put a whole platter out and then spread everything on it, you can. But I think it's easier and stay fresher if you do it per serving. So you can use a bowl or a plate. And I'm thinking four servings. Might get more than that because these are nice chips too. I don't know if can, these are nice, good sized chips and they're not a bunch of broken ones. So we just want to put some chips on there. And I've already heated. This is our all beef chili with beans. And our white nacho sauce. And I just put them in these little dishes. And popped them in the microwave. Then we will drizzle a little cheese. There you have it. Easy as can be nachos. Mmm. I had to come over and get me a bite. Quite yummy. Pretty sure you're going to get more than four servings. There's a lot of cheese. And you see it did not take many beans to put on just that many chips. And this bag is that full. I mean that size of the bag. I, it's hard for you to kale but you might get five servings depends on how many chips you want how hungry you are and if you have cheese left save it we'll find something else to do with it later on in the week here is another easy one this is going to be very kid friendly over here on the left i have my big frying pan heating up so we're going to make a couple sandwiches oops we're just using the the white bread that came from the dog tree, obviously. So we'll put peanut butter on both of them. And there are nine servings of two tablespoons in here. So we will easily get our eight servings because there are 16 slices of bread. And that will give us eight sandwiches. Okay. Now we want to do jelly on one. So I just bought the grape jelly. Okay. And then we want to use our fluff on the other. I grew up eating peanut butter and marshmallow cream sandwiches. I love them. So that's the fun part. You get to choose. And they had different kinds of jelly at the store. I think they had strawberry and also they had raspberry. Okay. Now here's the part that's going to be different. Mayonnaise. Not Miracle Whip. Mayonnaise. Because we don't have any butter to fry these in. We're just going to put just a teeny bit of mayonnaise on the outside just to brown it. You don't need much because you don't want it tasting like mayonnaise, but you do want a little oil to help with the browning. And we're just going to stick it over there in the pan. And we'll look over there in just a minute.
Okay, let's slide back over here. Look at the other side. See how nice and toasty it got? Here are our ooey gooey sandwiches. That one looks delicious to me. And you see, we still have lots of jelly and marshmallow cream and mayonnaise. If we decide later on we have other things we want to make sandwiches with. And then the peanut butter will be used up when you get through making your sandwiches. But there'll still be plenty of these, these three things. Hold on, I gotta taste the, the marshmallow cream absolutely delicious and you cannot tell that is mayonnaise on that bread i promise you so there you have it there are our three meals today i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you stick around because i have more planned and we will do them at a later date so thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video